back to the channel, y'all. Now, here's another one by Shelter Logic. This is a 10 by 15 by 8 all steel metal frame. Peak style roof, instant garage, and auto shelter with waterproof and UV treated rip stop cover. Alright, this thing here look pretty cool, man. I like this. Um, it's got like the steel, as you can see, it got steel frames up in here. Right there, everything's got a couple posters going on up in there. This thing costs 240 bucks. I would say it's worth it. Now, I would definitely cement this in the ground so it won't move when the wind get high. I would say you don't want to cement that thing about to a foot and a half in the ground at least. And then run um, ratchet scraps. I would ratchet scrap that sucker to the ground along with cement. Because for that price, I want to make sure it don't move. It's nice. If I get something like this, I want to make sure it don't move, though. And a 10 by 15 is a pretty nice size. You can get some whole cars in there. But something like the SUVs and stuff might stick out of the back just a little. But... For the most part, you get majority of it under there, though. Especially if you need to do something to it. It's, it'll be enough of it going there anyway. So, uh, yeah. Especially if you can open the back up, you can drive all the way through it at times. I'm pretty sure you can do that. You can just leave the size on it. That's pretty cool, though. Let's see here now. Right here in this picture here, man, a lady has a car all the way up under here in this one. And, uh... That's pretty cool, but that's a small car, like a Ford something. Like a later model Ford Focus. That's what it is. Uh, she got a whole car in there, though. That's pretty cool. But I kind of wonder. I know that SUVs, this thing is tall enough to hold SUVs. But I was saying some large pickup trucks might not fit all the way under there. But it'll fit on there for enough, though, I think. That's what I would say. Even if it didn't fit all the way, fit far enough. Alright, let's look at some more pictures. There's another car. It's a Ford um, Fusion, I think. Yeah, that's what that is. A Ford Fusion up under there. So I'm just showing a couple cars that's under this thing. And um, small cars are fit. But if you're talking Explorer SUVs and pickup trucks, they'll fit under there, but I don't know if they'll fit all the way under there, though. And uh, that's a pretty good buy, $240, if them tarts last. Only eight people bought it so far from what I'm seeing. No, it's 327 rating, my bag. I would have to look at some of the reviews to see how it held up through the wind before I actually purchased this. All right, let's get another view. There's another lady standing on there beside that Ford uh, Fusion right there. Okay, let's see what other kind of car they got going on up under there. Okay, she's in the back of the trunk now, so basically the whole car is fitting in that thing there. But when it comes to a pickup truck or SUV, I believe it's going to be kind of tight the whole thing. All you got to do is sting you a little bit, piece, a little piece off it, though. I would stand me a little piece of tart out on some wooden poles or sometime if I need to do something. That's exactly what I do. I kind of jerry-rig me a little piece of tart coming off, make it about 20 feet long. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. And um, if I need to uh, get up on there and do some pickup trucks or large SUVs. But for the most part, you know, you can you, know, you get most of the truck or the SUVs on there. I'm good with that. And if it's cold, as long as you can stay warm, you know. <laughs> By summer being in there, you won't freeze to death, you know. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I can work with that. <laughs> but yeah, that's been an um, overview here of the 10 by 15 Shelter Logic. I just want to share that with you guys, man. This thing is pretty nice. I don't think if you put this down good, ratchet scrap it, put cement it in the ground, and like I said, use ratchet scraps, I don't think the wind's going to move this thing. I'm de I definitely would run ratchet scraps all the way around it, from both sides to the bag and everything. 
I'm out, guys. Peace.